Hi, this is Judah Myers with Choices for Life and I'm always so excited to tell you what's going on because recently we had a newborn baby. His name is Angel and he looks like an angel as you can see in this picture. He looks like a little American Indian baby doll. Well, let me tell you about Angel's story. Angel's mom was raped by a family member and she went to a pregnancy center and the pregnancy center tried to change her mind but she absolutely wanted an abortion so the pregnancy center called me and said Judah you really need to talk to this woman so I did and she wasn't changing her mind I pleaded I begged I gave her stories of people who have aborted and regretted it I gave her stories of younger women who gave birth and are so grateful that they have their children nothing was changing her mind and then finally I simply said I will pay you three thousand dollars if you don't abort well there was silence on the phone and then she came back and said okay I'll do it well by the time we got to the bank where we we're gonna do the paperwork and um, have it notarized this woman was crying telling me I don't know what I was thinking to be able to kill my own baby and I said it's because of the stress it's because of what society tells us that you don't want that kind of kid you don't want a baby who's conceived in rape especially incest that'll remind you of that rape forever but the fact is mothers don't deserve to be the mothers of dead babies so this mom took on the um, the challenge I gave her to be a mom of a live baby so as this baby grew inside of her her love grew for him and she named him angel because she knows that this child isn't a curse this child is an angel from God not in the true sense of he's an angel but just a precious gift and so uh, by the time she delivered this child everyone was in love with this baby and I can't say enough he is absolutely beautiful and he just steals every heart that that sees him uh, the mom is doing great we were able to not only give her the three thousand dollars thanks to save unborn life um, we have also been able to help her with the baby bed and some other items needed for the baby and for herself we not only help women while they're pregnant but if she ever needs us again we're going to be here for her she is well on her way to being a self-sufficient mom that loves her little boy more than anything on this earth and I would like to thank you for helping support Choices for Life because this is where your money is going. I'm not paid to do any of this. We have no paid staff. And so the money goes for helping women like this young woman. A woman called me at 1130 midnight one night saying that she didn't want to live. She had just swallowed 20 plus pills because she believed that her little girl was going to be taken from her so the world says this woman is going to be reminded of her rape she shouldn't have the child and here's real life situation where a woman is wanting to kill herself because she can't bear the thought of living without her child I was so grateful that her boyfriend came in oh by the way her boyfriend who loves her and her child this boyfriend took her to the hospital and because of that she's alive today and she's regretting what she did she said no longer will she want to look to die but she's gonna live for her daughter because not just a mother doesn't deserve to be the mother of a dead baby but a, a baby doesn't deserve to have a dead mother and so they are doing so much better now and there's a fight that's going on choices for life would like to be able to pay for a lawyer your help is needed we need the money to help her Still another woman contacted me and asked if we have scholarships that she could go back to college, get off of welfare, make a good living for her and her family. And at this point, we don't have that. Maybe that's on your heart to help this young mother to get out of the bondage of poverty. She wants to work. She doesn't want to be on welfare. But right now, I don't have the money to help her she needs seven thousand dollars to do a, a medical program that will enable her to get a job in the medical field if you feel like you want to contribute to this please go to choicesforlife.org hit the donate button
Also, if you'd like to even just give a little bit, $5 a month, we're calling it the high five. I know that you would sit with this lady who is hurting and give her a cup of coffee once a month just to make her feel better. But your $5, along with thousands of others, enables me to reach out to so many. There's no other organization that is helping women from conception to death. Yes, to death. We even helped a hero mom pay for funeral expenses. She died unexpectedly early and her family needed money to pay for burial expenses and we helped. We believe that these women deserve honor and respect. One young girl that I've, I've talked about before, she's no longer in public school because the children there bullied her and spray painted her parents' home. Those, those people, they don't understand the love that a mother can have for their child. But with your help, we can get the message out. We recently did um, a DVD called Pro-Life Without Exception. It is an amazing DVD, so educational. Not just about the rape conceived, but also about ectopic pregnancies and Down syndrome and other exceptions. We know the value of life. If you would like one of these DVDs to show at church or your civic organization or even to your office that you might do a high five donation fundraiser, we believe that if everyone did $5 a month, we could do so much for these women. So if you would like to get a DVD, you can go to choicesforlife.org forward slash products. You're going to also find our brand new t-shirts and we're hoping that you too will join us to end the prejudice against mothers and children of rape conception. I love how Miss Pennsylvania came out and she told her story. There are other mothers who are and children who are coming out and not carrying that shame that society wants to put on us. We are not the criminals. And so we will proudly come out and say our mothers are heroes. Would you join us to help society understand this prejudice? It has gone on forever and it's time to stop it. Well, God bless you. I look forward to hearing from you. So if you'd like to give me a call, 281-451-8460. I would love to talk to you about possibly sponsoring um, the video or even I will come out and speak. I've got an awesome uh, powerful audio visual presentation. I also sing. So I'd be happy to share that message of life without exceptions with your group. God bless you and thank you again.